What's up everybody, it's your boy Mimer. For breakfast I had a cheese bagel, for lunch I had pasta salad and the pizza that was at school. I had two slices of pizza and pasta salad, it was way too much food. I don't know why I did it, it was stupid. Uh, and for dinner we had McDonald's, so just a very unhealthy day. But, you know, what can you do? The reason why I had McDonald's for dinner is the same reason why those papers are on my bed right there. And uh, the reason for that is because I went into work today. Uh, I didn't do any work things. I actually just walked in because I, I got I got hired, right? So I walked in. I saw the guy. I shook his hand. I uh, gave me those papers. He was like, study these. It's like the menu, right? And uh, you'll be compensated for your memorization time. And he said, like, we'll be able to tell if you've like, studied it. And I have. So I, I know some things. I know some sandwich names. I know the names of the salads. Um, I work in Delhi, by the way. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Uh, so I did some of that today. Um, and I got my uniform, which is just a shirt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hate how it's getting warmer now. It's 69 degrees outside. And I know that's not saying much, but uh, you know, I'm starting to put ice cubes in my water. We're starting to open the windows more. It's horrible. I have my window open and my blinds all the way open all night. And it's horrible because when I wake up, you know, and I got up, people would just see me, right? But, um, you know, it's dark and, you know, it's better than it being blazing hot in my room all the time. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I'm just hanging out. Um, yeah. I'm, you know, when I, when I came home today, uh, it was, <laughs> I was really freaked out about um, the job, genuinely. I was really freaked out because I walked in. It was the first time I walked behind the counter, right, to, to see the calendar and stuff and see when I would start working. I'm starting working on Thursday, by the way. See when I would start working. Um, and it was very busy. There were like six people back there all doing their own little thing. And uh, it was so packed, actually, that I couldn't really walk through the uh, the, the counter um, as I was trying to um, leave, right? And I got very spooked and it, because it seemed just very busy and very um, stressful, right? Uh, but, you know, when I got home, after I relaxed for a little bit and I calmed down, um, you know, I read some of that, I studied some of it, you know, I talked to my parents about it, they helped me with it, they, they did the whole thing where, you know, you, they pretend to be a customer and you just answer their questions, and, uh, you know, I did get, we did, like, I think a hundred, I didn't get a single one of them right, because I, you know, one of them I forgot, like, oh, would you like onions with that, would you like tomatoes, I forgot, stuff like that. Uh, but it says on the menu, it's like a flowchart, kind of, um, it's not really a flowchart, but, god, they should make a flowchart, um, but anyway. Yeah, eventually I got them more and more correct, and now I got them kind of correct pretty consistently. Uh, just like what to say and what order and like what to say with what. And uh, for some reason, for some crazy wild reason, when somebody asks for a Reuben, you're supposed to ask for, quote, tomatoes or onions. Uh, but my sister has gone there for like eight years. Uh, they only ask for onions because why would you ever want tomatoes on a Reuben? That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to want on a Reuben. Um, but yeah, so apparently, according to this piece of paper I was given, that this this piece of paper I was giving you, you're supposed to put tomatoes and onion on Reuben, uh, which, you know, I, I guess is company policy, you know. Uh, you're supposed to ask, actually, you're supposed to ask, do you want tomatoes and onion? And if they say yes, you do, but if you don't, you know. Not to slander this company, this unnamed company. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to work there. All the people seem very nice, all the people I've interacted with. And, uh, you know, after, after, I just need some <laughs> It's horrible to get a failed sneeze on video. Um, you know, after reviewing the papers and talking to the people there and talking to my parents about it, you know, I'm way less stressed. And, you know, while it is freaky, I'm going to have a job on Thursday. Um, it's way less stressed than I was when I got home because I was freaking out. Uh -huh. Now I am, I am just moderately, like, educational experience type, like, you know, I'm, I'm stressed, but I'm not, like, deathly afraid. You know, I'm stressed as in I'm worried, you know, about how well I'll do, you know, but I'm not, like, freaking out. It doesn't impede me. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to work there. It's going to be fun. I'm going to make money, uh, and then I'll save up for a NAS server. And I'll keep working after that, because um, during the interview, I don't know if I said this, the person interviewing me, she was like, um, uh, she said, how long are you planning to work? And I said, like, a while. And she said, well, there's this one person who, um, I didn't say a while, but I just don't want to say exactly how long I said I was going to work. And she said, well, there's this one person who worked here around your age who um, only worked here for as long as he needed to get a laptop, and then he just didn't turn in one day and uh so we 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 had to fire him and i was like well i won't do that uh yeah so i'm planning i don't even know what i'm saying i've been rambling so much am i a crazy person goodbye